I had hoped to get these into the ground on gangbusters crazy potatoes. Now, I was thinking about container grown potatoes and you put in like one or two potatoes. This is a 15, a dozen. I have four varieties, Norland Red, excess Norland Red, Yukon Gold, a couple weeks after these other ones and uh, they're going crazy compared to these ones in the pot. Kennebec, Norland Red, Katadin, Yukon Gold. The idea is to, like, to transplant these, obviously. I've got them in a, in a pretty thick compost soil, uh, got some vermiculite in there, some sand. Originally, it was going to do container potatoes. Decided to build a potato tower, or a potato wall, or a potato spiral, or uh, a bunch of potato cylinders. I got to get these potatoes in the ground, so therefore the next project has uh, is uh, screaming at me to get done. And uh, so probably look for that next. Before we get going on the potato hedge, uh, I'll give you a little update on the uh, sidewalk peas and onions planter. Peas are doing very well. I was concerned about voles and mice and whatnot, but they uh, seem to have left alone, particularly on the other side of the uh, chain link fence, because I put edging in and also did peas on that side, as you can see, all the way down. This top part here where I had the onion seed tape did not do well. Nothing came up. I've shoved a bunch of new bulb type in here. Uh, let's see. It's keeping them water, but we've had some really heavy-duty, wet, sloppy rain here the last couple days. So I'm just going to let things dry up a bit and let them, let them take root. Now we get down into the section where I used the uh, bulb onions to begin with, the little bulbs, and uh, as you can see, we got onion. So that's the uh, the sidewalk planter. Of course, did some on the outside of it as well. We got peas and onions out here as well. Hey, and uh, peas on the inside, doing pretty well. Although I got some wild cucumber, I got to pluck out of there. All right, now let's uh, let's get an update on the uh, potato hedge. 